Hello, my name is Laura Sterling. I am a buck and tree woman from Australia. So uh, what, you, what brought you out to Sandy Rock? Uh, well, a lot of what's happening at Sandy Rock is a big thing that's happening in Australia as well. Um, in Australia we have very similar stuff going on with the government wanting to rape and pillage the land for minerals and um, obviously with you guys it's with the water. So I feel a very strong connection um, to be here. Native American, Indian culture and Aboriginal culture is very similar. We have a lot of the, the same values and we respect the same thing which is Mother Earth. So I was coming to America for the eclipse, but um, a big part of what I wanted to do was get out here to Dakota and um, be able to just stand here with you guys. It's, um, it's sad that I can't actually be out at the rock because obviously you've all been moved along now and all those charges have been laid. So it's great to be able to be here with the small community that's left, but um, I think our big fight now has to be to get all those charges dropped um, for the people that have been arrested for trying to protect the one thing that we all need and one thing we all have right to, which is water. So I'm here to stand, standing rock. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, what exactly is going on in Australia with the Aboriginal people and the government? Oh, wow, okay. I'll give you the short version because it's a very long version. Uh, so what they're trying to do at the moment is close all the remote communities. So what happened was back in, it was 19, the late 1960s, um, they decided that it was no longer legal to be able to hunt and kill an Aboriginal person up until the late 1960s. You actually could hunt them like an animal. So they decided, okay, where that's not legal anymore, so what we're going to do is we're going to go round up all the Indigenous people and we're going to put these in these makeshift shanty sort of communities that they've built. So the communities are in the middle of nowhere, which is where obviously people were living traditionally, which was fine, but now they've built these makeshift communities, given this stuff called money, a thing called alcohol, and gone, here you go. Now fast forward to 2017, which we're in now, but this started back in 2015. Governments decided, hey, there's lots of minerals out there, so we want to rape and pillage that land. But the indigenous people are in the way. So do you know what we're going to do? We're going to close these communities. So it wasn't a matter of just going in and removing people, it was a matter of going in and actually turning off water supplies. Um, so what's happening then is we're now seeing the second was history repeating itself with the stolen generation. The stolen generation was uh, when the children were taken away and ultimately put in with white families to have the Aboriginal bred out of them. And so what's happening now with the closure of the communities, uh, the children are again being taken away um, at a much higher rate than what it was back then. So it's very similar stuff that's happening here and not just in America and in Australia, it's happening in indigenous communities all over the world in South America. Um, so there's a big fight that needs to be happening and I think for any, any of us that are in a position to do this, we need to have our voices heard and all be coming together collectively because it's the one thing that's happening. Well, the one, we all want the same thing, which is to protect the land and to protect culture. Wow. It's amazing how similar the stories seem to sound mm. too as well between the Aboriginal community and the uh, Sioux tribe here in yeah. the Dakotas. Uh, one of the biggest slogans that you hear with Standing Rock of course is water is life but what I'm also starting to hear is like water is power as well. Yeah. Because once you have control of the resources you have control of yourself, you have control of your sovereignty and so that's why people want to take that from the indigenous peoples wherever they're at. Exactly and we are water. You know, this is what we are. We are water and, you know, with our cultures, you know, what we what we believe in is Mother Earth and it's Grandmother Moon and Grandmother Moon, she moves the waters, you know, so it's just it's just not a matter of taking away something that seems so tangible, which is water. Yes, we all need water, plants need water, but it, it's us and it moves with us and it's, you're taking away more than a tangible thing. You're taking away something that's inside all indigenous people. Wow. Thank you very much, Laura. Do you have anything else to say to the people before? To I be just honest? want to just pay my respects to um, all the owners of this land, past and present, for allowing me to be on it and allowing me to be a part of this project. So, thank you.